Now, to start with, um, let's say, .NET development on a Linux machine uh, with the Red Hat Container Development Kit, what we do is go to developers.redhat.com again. We go to Downloads, and we scroll all the way down to where it says Container Development Kit. Then we could learn more, because if we want to download the Linux version, we click Download over there, and then we pick the version for Linux, a 64-bit version. And it's, it's going to download a file called uh, cdk 3 0 minishift linux amd 64 It's about 375 megabytes in size, and it will contain everything you need to start the CDK on uh, Linux. So let's start doing that. Now, the Docs and APIs page here also explains how to get um, some additional components you need on Linux. You need to install those manually. Um, it's basically just downloading a couple of binaries from, from GitHub. It's not that complicated. And I'll show you where they live and what the names are on my system later on. So let's switch to a terminal on my system. I'm in a .local bin directory, and there I have um, two files that you need to install manually. One is called Docker Machine. Docker is called one is called Docker Machine Driver KVM, which are used to uh, manipulate the virtual machine that my um, OpenShift uh, CDK installation will live in. Then I have the actual CDK binary as I downloaded it from developers.redhead.com. I'm going to actually symlink this to Minishift to make invoking it a little bit easier. And basically, that is it. I have installed the CDK on my systems. I'm, I'm I'm going to call uh, Minishift help for now, as you can see, it actually works. And then to complete configuration of um, the CDK on my system, I have to call Minishift setup CDK, which performs some last minute tasks on my system. There we go. And from here on on, I can run Minishift um, start. I'm, I can give it an amount of CPUs. I can give it a amount of memory. Let's give it um, four gigs. Let's give it a disk of 25 gigabytes. And let's start with um, the latest version as it is available on the customer portal, which is 355.15. And there we go. So the registering that is happening during the initial startup of um, the CDK is registering to uh, the, do the customer portal with a subscription manager. And that is happening automatically here because I have exported two environment variables. Uh, one is called Minishift. Um, username one is called Minishift password um, that hold obviously my username and password for um, my um, account on the customer portal and um, that means I don't have to pass any username and password flags to Minishift startup. So there we are, initial OpenShift startup, um, OpenShift well, CDK startup has completed. And from here on on, we can start developing. And that is part of the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, if you like the channel, please let me know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also check out the blog at 100thingsatwizard.com and follow me on Twitter at, uh, at Maxim Burgerhout. If you have any remaining questions, feel free to send me an email or send me a Twitter message and I'll try to, to follow up with you. And uh, for now, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks and goodbye.